When it comes to lifting boxes, loading pallets, or even picking and sorting items, no question, robots can do this better and faster than humans with no risk of injury. A recent report found 37% of workers surveyed are worried about automation putting jobs at risk, but 73% think technology can never replace the human mind. Nearly three quarters say they're ready to learn new skills or retrain to remain employable. Wow. So this is your new office? Yes, ma'am. This is it. Ma my office. Welcome aboard. Consider Jackie Burton one of them. Holy cow. So you're attached to a 53-foot trailer back there? Yes, ma'am. A year ago, she was an order filler at Walmart, picking groceries for deliveries. But as the company automated her job, she pivoted, enrolling in Walmart's Associate to Driver program. After 18 weeks of training, she became a certified Walmart private fleet driver and now makes six figures a year. Is that a lot more than you were making? It is. I'm definitely in a better position for setting up my future. It is the next great industrial revolution. Chance Bayless used to work as an unloader for Walmart. This used to be where you worked when you came in every day. Correct. Inside of trailers like this, loading and unloading pallets. That's right, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. But two years ago, his manager suggested he enroll in a two-month automation training program. The upskilling allowed him to trade in his manual labor job to be an automation equipment operator, making up to $27 an hour. The role puts him on a path to manager roles with annual salaries of $60,000. Now, his day involves monitoring these two robots as they build pallets of Walmart goods. He intervenes when the bots get confused by simple things like a box falling on its side or when the computers detect a problem. We're using our minds to solve problems instead of our bodies. And that's the great thing about automation. You're, you're being engaged on a mental level. What would be your advice to someone who's in a situation where automation is coming to their workplace? Anyone can do this because it's all about training and it's all about your ability to dedicate yourself to anything. It's not just a job anymore, it's now a career. Building those careers, also the focus at Amazon. By 2025, the company will invest $1.2 billion to help more than 300,000 U.S. employees get into higher paying careers through upskilling with free education and training. We want to invest in everyone. Ofori Egboka is Amazon. Amazon's vice president of people for global operations. What would you say to someone, an employee who's like, there's so much happening, where would you tell them to start? I'd say get excited about it. Ask your supervisor, ask your leader, ask HR. These opportunities are going to continue to grow, and we've proven it. We've created hundreds of jobs in the, in the area of robotics. Since launching its Mechatronics and Robotics Apprenticeship in 2020, a free 18-month program, more than 1,700 graduates now work in tech-focused roles, with many seeing pay increases of 40%. Their newest initiative is AI Ready. It's open to the public. You don't have to be an Amazon employee. The program provides free AI skills training globally. We want to invest in everyone. Our goal as Amazon is we want to empower anyone who's interested in exploring a technical career. And we want to make access easy and accessible and affordable to people. And that really is the key to all of this, access to skills training for these jobs. We know Walmart and Amazon have laid off tens of thousands of workers last year because of a combination of automation and cost cutting. But they say many new jobs are also being created, as we just saw. So then what's the best way for someone to learn about these programs, especially we were talking about some of this work is so hard on the body yeah. that maybe they can see a light at the end of the tunnel here. The key really is to talk to your supervisor yeah. and also set up a meeting with the human resources department and ask questions and also seek out the people who are doing those jobs that you might want to do and ask them questions about how they got there. I think a lot of people are surprised to learn employers have in-house programs. You just have to inquire about them and it can be life changing. It can change your salary. It certainly can change your health outlook too. And it yeah. doesn't sound like the training takes that long either. Just no. two months at the at that Walmart. In a lot of cases, these are a couple months to six months yeah. long. You're paid the whole time and then you transition to a new job. And That's you great. have transferable skills as well. Exactly. Have confidence. Go ask, ask the right. questions. Exactly. And to ask the questions. Learn right, something. Yeah. Thanks, Thank Vic. you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.